the name of Jesus. Call upon the Lord right now. Today, people do not sound a trumpet to project the image of generosity, but they still know how to call attention to their giving. What do, what do you see some celebrities do? What do you, what do you see some people do on TV? They say, when it comes around uh, Thanksgiving, what they do? Well, so-and-so is giving out turkeys. Oh, look what so-and-so did. He, uh, he picked up a woman off the sidewalk. So-and-so just donated $2,000. This person did this, and that person did that, and they pinned them on the news. No, when you do something, don't be, don't be looking for attention. You know, God doesn't call us on that level. But you know what? Jesus, Jesus tells the one who gives so he can hear the applause of others that he should enjoy the applause because that will be all the reward that person will receive. Matthew chapter 6. Now, because that will be all the reward that he will receive, there will be no more, no reward in heaven for the one who did it for the motive of an earthly reward. That's why I tell people today, don't live for the things of this world. Don't store up your, your treasures in houses built by man, but store your treasures in heaven where no man can steal, no man can break in. That's why it's important, but what, 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 what do we do today? We brag about how many cars we got. Some brag about how many girlfriends they have. And others, how much money they have. They don't have understanding that all these things could be taken away in a heartbeat. Then what do you have then? Are, is the things that are in your life guaranteed to stay? Are the people who are here today, the, 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 the half a million followers you got on Twitter or Facebook or whatever you got, are those things here to stay? Will you wake up tomorrow and it still be there? There will be no reward in heaven for the one who did it for the motive of an earthly reward. When, when, you, when, a, when a person commits a crime, first thing police say is, what is the motive? If we give for our own glory, it doesn't matter if no one finds out and we still have no reward from God. If, but if we give for God's glory, it doesn't matter who finds out because our reward will remain because you gave for the right motive. Jesus pointed out the great value of doing good deeds for the glory of God. That's why I'm here today. I'm not here to glorify myself, but to glorify the Father who is in heaven. Hallelujah. It is much better to receive our reward from God who rewards more and much more generously and much more openly than man does. That's what it's about today is repentance. But do you know what they're talking about in church today? Just worship God. You don't have to repent. That's like me going to a bank and I'm, I didn't even fill out the, the check. I didn't come to them correctly. How I'm going to deliver something to the bank if I ain't do it correctly? How I'm going to mail out a package if I ain't fill out the information correctly? Uh, Ask ourselves, why are things ain't done right? Amen. That's why people say, well, you know what? I didn't, I didn't commit adultery, but I just looked at the woman. What? You didn't just looked at the woman. That's enough. That's enough right there. If you look upon a woman in a lustful way, uh, for, uh, uh, speaking to men, you look upon a woman in a lustful way, you're married, you, you already committed adultery in your heart. This is what they don't want to hear about in churches, though. God doesn't just, you know, come down on you for, 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 for the act 
of sin, it's not just that, it's what led to it. Remember, God is eternal. The origin is eternal. Amen. We should not miss the strength of the promise. But that's the problem with man today. They don't want to do things the right way. They want to do things their way. They want to rewrite, rewrite laws when the original law was the right way. And what do you expect when you do something like that? I was reading the article. Oh, God bless you. Here you go. He wants to. I was just reading an article the other day, and uh, a judge, <laughs> a judge tells tells the people they, they the, these families came to the judge. I guess they went to uh, some type of courthouse or something, some type of high court. I guess that's uh, I forgot the name of the highest court in the land. I think it's Supreme Court. Anyways. There was a judge, there was a court case that went before the Supreme Court judge and the matter was about boys and girls dressing in a locker room together. And you see, so many people see a problem with that. And that's correct, that is a problem. Each person is appointed to their privacy. Women should be able to undress in private and have their privacy. Now who would, who would go against that? And the same for men. But you know what this judge did? The judge struck and ruled that it was wrong for women and men to have their own privacy. You see what's going on in the world today? They're trying to blur the lines. That's how Satan operates. He'll take what's, 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 what's founded and what's right and he'll try to twist it. And that's what they have done to the, to the population today. They have convinced the population that abortion is correct. That's what they have done. They have brainwashed people. Because these people, they don't even have a moral compass in their life. No compass whatsoever. So when the TV says something, it's correct. When the news anchor says something, they don't have to Google it, it's correct. In their minds. You see, when I speak like this, this is the reason why they don't want me here. Because I'm speaking truth, I'm speaking correction. Every force of evil has tried to drive me from here. Joe Square say, I'm not welcome here. And they tried night and day, calling the police repeatedly. Somebody need to tell Satan the police don't work no more. They got to try something else. 